Hey guys, welcome to my October moments of the month. I'm coming to you from my extremely hot bedroom. And today it has been extremely hot. It's a Friday, I'm so excited. I know I'm a little bit late with my moments of the month, but I've been super busy um, getting ready for my wedding and with work and life has just been crazy. So this month's moments of the month is more going to be a haul post because um, I've spent a lot of money this month and I just want to show you guys what I've been spending it on, what I've been buying, um, just kind of preparing for summer and preparing for a few things. And I'm so excited, so let's get into it. So the first thing I bought this month was actually the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On uh, Lip Pencil. And I bought it in Ozone because I just wanted something, I've got a lot of different colored lipsticks. Um, I just wanted something that would go with all of my lipsticks, especially the darker colored ones where you really need a line to keep your lipstick sort of in the lines or draw on that upper lip that you don't have. I've been using it so much that I've already been sharpening it down and I can just tell it's going to run out and I'm going to need a new one like really soon. And this is from Mecca, so in Australia, Urban Decay is at Mecca. The next new thing that I picked up this month is uh, the Kit Smoldering Eyeshadow Palette in After Dark Spark. Take that baby off. Oh. How amazing is that palette? I was choosing between the Slay All Day and the After Dark Spark and I couldn't resist these two colours here. And I'm sure I'm going to be working with those a lot over the coming months, especially with my wedding coming up. You never know what might be appearing in my wedding look. And I haven't actually used this yet, so I'm so excited. I've been so busy that I haven't even got to use my new makeup. How depressing is that? So I'm going to be doing a video on this palette as well. The next new things that I've bought... Oh, going through these bags, I've just realized um, how much makeup I have bought this month. Whoops. And there's more on the way in the mail. So I've been wanting to buy the Illuminate by Ashley Tisdale Cosmetics for a while now. So they've been out since May. And I wanted to get my hands on them pretty much when they came out. But I waited a bit because I wasn't really sure about the quality and stuff. And um, I was kind of waiting for the Australian dollar to do something big. And um, it didn't. So I just decided to buy them because they're still like really good price for like these products. So first of all, let's talk about this adorable packaging. So I really like the outside with the rose gold stripes and then when you get inside there's that kind of beautiful like Tiffany blue colour inside and then the actual packaging is quite plain. So this is the illuminating shimmer in shimmering sand and look how big that is. So this is like the size of my whole palm. So from the Illuminate by Ashley collection I bought three products. So I bought the illuminating shimmer in shimmering sand. I bought the cream lip and cheek tint in Cabana which is really cute. I watched the tutorial and you can like warm it up on your hand and blend it into your cheek color. And I also bought the Beach Goddess palette. So that is this palette. And these three products, as you can see, like you get heaps. So this highlighter is humongous for one thing. And I haven't tested these out yet, so this will be another thing on my list to do a separate video on as well. And the cream lip and cheek tint. If I wasn't wearing black, I might do a bit right now. And then this palette has 12 colours all up, so it's got 9 eyeshadow colours and 3 face colours. So it's got like a blush, a bronzer and a highlighter as well. And the colours are all so pretty, so they're all really shimmery. Um, there are a few matte ones in there. And they're named after like fun beach places like Bora Bora and Tahiti and Bermuda. And the colours look really good. I haven't tried this yet and I can't wait to try it. But all up, these three products plus shipping from Los Angeles cost me 52 Australian dollars, which is such a good price. Like I haven't tried the products yet, so I'll let you know. But the price for like three of these products in such a good size as well, pretty good for $52. Like some of my palettes cost, you know, almost double that. And when I ordered, I also got a free Kabuki brush from BH Cosmetics, which is really good. It's so soft. Um, the brushes from the Ashley Tisdale Illuminate collection were sold out when I was actually online buying this, but it would have been good to buy a few brushes and see how they're going because people have been raving about them online, but maybe next time. 
Okay, so after I bought those things, I went on a shopping trip into the city and I went to Sephora and Mecca as well. Um, again, obviously, I'm like a platinum member. And I picked up a few things. So, so I picked up a Smashbox fan brush because I really wanted to try out a fan brush for my highlighting. Currently, I'm using a Zoeva one, but I just wanted to try one of these out and see how it goes. I also picked up uh, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden, which is like a nude matte. Um, so when you when you buy the Naked palettes, you get uh, four eyeshadow primers uh, for free, just like testers to try out. And so there's like an anti-aging one, a shimmer one, um, a matte one, and just the original one. And I tried out all of them except the one that I actually bought. So um, yeah, I just decided that this one would probably be a good one. And, well, they were all good, so I just decided to buy that one because it was there. And I also bought another one of the Ozone, uh, the Urban Decay Ozone Lip Primers, but this is the fat version. So the other one is thin, just like a normal lip liner. Oh, whoops. But this one's like a fat version, like a crayon. So it's like a multiple use one. So you can use it like all over your lips or as a lip liner or pretty much whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can, so good luck to you. What else did I buy? Okay, I also bought um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the original one. So I currently use the Smashbox Light Primer, but I wanted to test out the original, um, even though it's a bit thicker, I wanted to, you know, give it a go and see how I go. And I actually bought two of the smaller size ones um, because they run out of the big size ones but it turns out buying two of the smaller ones was actually cheaper than buying the big size one anyway so there's a little beauty hack for you. So from Mecca I also picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I had previously been using the Urban Decay uh, Cooling and Hydrating Chill Setting Spray but I thought that uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter was actually much better than the hydrating one so I decided to grab this one as well so now I've got two and I use two so this one's for like you know all night occasions whereas the other one is more for like a daily use when I'm walking to work and I'm like sweating like a pig and then I hit up Sephora and I literally had like a list like a written down list of what I had to buy there and of course I ended up buying a few more things than what's on my list who doesn't so I bought four of these the Kat Von D tattoo liners unfortunately in Australia um, Sephora is the only place you can get them and in Sydney the Sephora is in the city and since I live in the suburbs which is about an hour out um, it's just, I, I got to stock up. So I bought some for me and some for my sister. I also bought a new Benefit, the Real Mascara. I know that there's so many other mascaras out there, but this is the one that I keep going back to. And since my wedding's coming up, I wanted to make sure I had all brand new products I could work with so everything was fresh since I'm doing my own makeup. I also bought a new beauty blender. So if you guys have seen my metallic makeup post, um, it's one of my really recent ones, I went to use my beauty blender to blend in a couple of contours and I found out that it actually had mold on it. So that was super disappointing and I had to make do with brushes, but the brushes worked really well, but I just decided that I needed a new beauty blender. Um, just to make sure I have one in future. So in Sephora, when you line up, um, they have like, I forget what it's called, but they have all these like mini travel size beauty products, um, right where you can see them when you're waiting in line, just so you buy more and buy more you do. I bought these little Sephora bath bombs. And I didn't buy them for me because I don't like the idea of sitting in my own bath water um, for fun. I'm really impatient, that's why I take a shower. But I bought them for my sister for Christmas because they're really cute just to put in a little package for her. And I know that I already bought these and you might have already seen them, but my sister borrowed them when she went to Europe and I had to buy more because she never gave them back. That's sisters, right? And so these Beauty on the Fly um, Sephora travel bags, they're approved for putting your liquids in. Uh, when you travel, so when you travel internationally and you can only take uh, three 100 mils of liquid, these are approved to put all your liquid things in, which is great because then you don't have to put them in a chatty snack or bag. So the beauty about going beauty shopping is when you spend enough money or you buy enough of a certain product, you get some free ones. So when I was shopping at Sephora, uh, my free products of the day were actually Kat Von D Mini Studded Kiss Lipsticks. And since it was Halloween, they were giving away black ones for free. So this is the black one. It's like a glittery, shimmery black. And it's so pretty. 
Black is now a colour for everyday use and as you can see I'm wearing the colour now. It's actually called Nayeon. I don't even know how to say that, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. It's the black one from Kat Von D and I previously had a bad experience with a studded kiss lipstick that I got. Um, it was just really flaky, it didn't go on well, the colour was awful, which was a shame because it was a cute kind of peach colour. Um, but this one is amazing. It goes on so smooth and it's glittery, it's opaque, it's it's great. And I got two of them. I was planning to give one to my sister, but I decided not to because I love them so much. And I'm actually incorporating the black lipstick into my everyday use because I can. So I think that's everything that I bought this month. I can't be sure because they're in random bags throughout my... Um, my apartment at the moment. I'm not very organized this month. Um, but I also entered a competition on Just a Blush, which is another blog that I follow. And I won a beauty box. So Kenzie, who uh, runs Just a Blush, she sent through my beauty box. It came all the way from Canada. I love when things come from a different country for me. And she, um, so she sent me what was promised in the beauty box competition giveaway. And she stuffed the box full of even more things. So I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing right now um, from Kenzie from Just a Blush. If you guys don't already, head over to her blog and check out what she's got. She's got some really great stuff. And she absolutely jam-packed this box full of goodies for me. I was so thankful. It was amazing to receive this and get even more than I bargained for. So I've got a few different samples. So I've got some cologne. I've got... A benefit their real mini sample which is what I will actually be going in my handbag it's a perfect handbag size there are some herbifolia lip balms so these are vegan lip balms and one is orange and the other is natural I love orange smelling things oh yum there is also some herbifolia peppermint lip oil and peppermint lip scrubs. So I've got a cream lip scrub and a normal one in peppermint. Oh, can't wait to do those. And then there's also a solid cuticle oil. So this is so great for uh, your cuticles and also the ends of your hair and sometimes your elbows as well, just to make things a bit smoother, give them some hydration. And I kind of can't believe these traveled so well coming all the way from Canada. So I've got another thing here. I've also got some Tarte testers um, for their 12 hour foundation. Unfortunately, I don't think any of them are actually in my color. The lightest one they've got is Fair Light Honey and I think I would probably be the lightest, which is Fair Sand. Um, but I'm sure my sister will appreciate these. There's also some makeup wipes. I've got a base face brush to add to my collection. So there was all those things and then there was what Kenzie actually was um, advertising in the giveaway. And this little bag is full of goodies for your fall look. Um, unfortunately, I'm over in summer, but it doesn't mean that I'm stopping with the dark lipstick. So there's some Garnier Micellar Water, um, which everyone is raving about this to get your makeup off with. You know, it's a bit more natural kind of thing. So I can't wait to try this out. There's a Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Eyeshadow, the 24 hour eyeshadow in top. Tough as top L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Eyeliner, which is possibly like a drugstore dupe for Kat Von D. So I'm going to try that out and let you guys know. My favorite mascara that I already used, the CoverGirl Lash Blast in black. This gorgeous Essie nail polish in Chinchilli. How cute is that color? I love Essie. And last but not least at all, this NYX Soft Cream Matte Lipstick. And this color is so pretty. Check this color out. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that's definitely perfect for fall, but I'm going to rock it in summer. Um, and I also got this little bag from her as well, which is perfect for keeping your makeup in in your handbag. So up to what I'm loving this month. Um, as you can see, I've got my Diamante cat ears on. So these are from Bras and Things, and I think they came out uh, with spring racing in mind, but I've just been wearing mine uh, whenever I can. So how cute are these? And my product picks of the month are, of course, the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Black Lipstick, which I'm wearing uh, right now. So this gorgeous glittery little thing. Oh, 
in love with that. I'm also loving uh, Max Whirl, which is a bit of a darker nude. So that's been a go-to color for me for lipstick this month as well, because sometimes people get a little bit intimidated when you wear black to work. I'm also loving the Urban Decay Sin, uh, the Champagne Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer. So when I'm doing a shimmer look, the champagne color just illuminates the shimmer so much and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna buy that as well as the matte one, just for shimmery looks, it really brings out the, um, the sparkle. And the last thing that I'm loving this month is my Clarisonic. So I'm loving the clay mask um, to really sort of draw the impurities out of my skin. And this Clarisonic has been so good, especially getting all my makeup off and just cleaning my pores, making my face feel really clean and soft and beautiful. It is perfect for wedding prep. So if you haven't read my post on the Clarisonic, please do the links down below. Thank you guys so much for watching my moments of the month for October. I um, hope you guys liked my bit of a haul video. Next month, there'll be a lot of wedding prep stuff because I'm getting married in about three weeks I'm so excited I can't wait I've been hitting the gym like twice a day just because I have to be bikini ready for my honeymoon right I hope you guys enjoyed my moments of the month video thank you so much for tuning into my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like what you see you can also follow me on Facebook Twitter Pinterest and Instagram as well so all those links are down below don't be afraid to say hi thanks so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next video